everyone welcome back on my channel today we'll see one new use case for comparing the previous year's quarter sales with current year's quarter sale okay so as per our previous video we have seen the comparison between the previous year's month sales and current year month sales so now we are doing for previous year's quarter sales and current year's quarter sales okay so let's see so same like a previous video here also we need the calculation data add function so that we can calculate the sales as per particular interval of time okay so this is the calculate and data add function syntax and this is the explanation you can have a look okay so let's see how to show it in visual in power bi okay so this is the table i'm showing so i have the data of cells so cells and date column i have then in the calendar uh, table as i explained in previous video i have created one new calendar table also so here is the calculation for calendar table by using calendar auto i have created the date then week number and then weekday and then the year okay so you can also calculate the same and uh, for comparing previous year's quarter we need the calculation for previous year's quarter okay so for calculating these cells i have used the calculate and data function so in calculate i am giving the cells of cells data table and then i am giving the uh, particular time interval so in data add, we need to specify the date and uh, we need to specify the quarter and we need to specify the interval so this is that interval so minus 4 and quarter because we have to see the previous year's quarter so we have uh, four quarters in one year so that's why we need to give the minus 4 here and here we need to specify the quarter okay so by using this measure I'm showing this calculation here. So we'll explain this table also. So in this table, I have taken the date. In date, I'm taking the year and quarter also. Then I'm taking the week number and then I'm taking the previous year's quarter measure that we have created now. And I'm showing the total cells. Okay. So in 2020 year, in quarter one, we have 21,102 cells okay in 2021 quarter one we have 21,102 cells so in this table we can see in 2021's first quarter we have this 21,102 cells then in 2021st quarter one we have the 21,029 cells okay and then we have the 20 1958 in 2022 okay so here we are showing the previous year's cells also so same quarter quarter one in 2020 we have the 21102 cells so these two cells is matching and we can show in one row this is the previous year cells and this is the current year cells of particular quarter okay this is also that this is also showing the same so this is the previous year's quarter one cells and this is the current year's quarter one cells okay so in this way we can show the previous year's quarter comparison with current year quarter comparison in power bi this is the most important use case we need to use it in real time projects also so if you have any concern in anything you can comment it down i will reply to your questions and please don't miss to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can receive the notification of my upcoming videos and if you like my video please do like share and subscribe thank you